I'm so glad you're here. I'm Rieta and it's time to do another zodiac tiny house in the shape of the cancer sign. It is the last one on this lot and if you watched my other videos you already know what to expect. The goal is to keep the shell of the house, make it look normal and furnish it the way it would suit the zodiac's characteristics, both in needs and style. Make the most out of it. Cancer is a family-oriented, rather conservative zodiac, so I tried to find a way to roof their house traditionally. It didn't come as easily as it seems, it was more of a trial and error. I just wanted to spare you the hustle. When I think about a family home, I imagine siding and the cats and dogs, windows and doors. Am I the only one? I can't be. We have a pair of colors we should work with today, white and silver. And since this symbol already reminds me of yin yang, let's separate it. Why these colors? The Cancer is pictured like a crab, their element is water, they are focusing on their families and homes and seek harmony. They love to cook. I'm trying to do a clean looking, inviting kitchen by using the dream home decorator counters combined with the cool kitchen cabinets. This is a more modern look so far, but if this sim is into cooking, they should have a renovated kitchen. And if we add horse ranch bar stools and a table with checkered cloth on it, I believe it will set the mood. Sometimes I need to take a break from certain spaces before continuing with decor pieces, so let's choose the essentials for the living room. I know that this monochromatic look can seem boring, but hang on, it will become better. Just trust the process. We should have an accent table with plants in front of the entrance to make the place more homey. These old pictures from the basement are great. They show important family moments and effortlessly sneak in some color. I don't plan for the whole house to be white and grey. Some soft pastel colors would help with feeling more inviting, lived in and cozy. Textiles can help with that too. The blue is also cold, but the nearest to silver in my opinion. Cancers are often nostalgic, and their belongings come with a lot of memories and feelings from them. I don't actually have photos of the family living here, so these are placeholders for now. I changed the frames so every house on this lot will have different items. To have some more color in here, the tiny living cupcake pictures will form a nice gallery wall. After that, I will move on to the other half of the house. The bed is a tough decision. I wanted something traditional, yet easily combinable with more contemporary furniture. The wired one is the winner. Why are all the nightstands so huge? The color of this dresser is exactly what I was looking for. Something between grey and light blue, just like silver sometimes. I have some wall decor prepared here. The theme will be kids and some work-related things. Don't tell anybody, but I already know what profession will the sim living here have. Check out the next week's bonus video to find out. On this other side of the room, I will get prepared for a future baby with a bassinet and a crib. We can call it a nursery. Hey, look, a moon decal! The cancer is ruled by the moon, that's why their color is silver. I'm so happy I found this. The bathroom is quite small, so I have to be careful not to overload it. The moon theme will continue, because this mirror is amazing. Yeah! Some family items as clutter. Let's jump back to the bedroom and turn up the coziness with these new reward pillows. They come in such beautiful colors. Maybe next time. All of the zodiac houses have an outside area and I thought since this is a more traditional sign who appreciates home-cooked meals, they should grow their own vegetables at least. Behind the white picket fence, like in American movies. And how could a water sign live without water? We have enough space here for a small pond. 
I make it shallow on purpose, so the seams can play in water. I've never tried adding stairs before, but the rocks on the edges are a must. Look how much better it is already! Yay! Next is the tour. I put swing outside to prepare for future kids and the tent. They are on this side, so they can interact with neighbors. In the center we have a small private yard, an insect farm, vertical flower beds. And this is the main door leading to the living space. I decorated with some kids stuff, some extra blankets, the old family photos. I had to get rid of one of the chairs, so we have enough space to actually use the other seatings. I feel like I managed to balance the colors out. There is something popping up in places, but overall the room is mainly white. Now the more private part of the house. I love how lived in this area looks. My gallery still doesn't work properly, so this painting should be looking like this. Kids art on the walls are another sentimental item typical for cancers. For the bathroom to function, I had to bring the toilet closer to the sink. And we have a crab here. We can visit our garden, sit under the tree, or go and enjoy the water. You can download this build from the gallery. My ID is Vieta R. Do you like the house? Or would you do something differently? Feel free to comment, like and subscribe so you won't miss the next Zodiac in the new location. But first we will do the Zodiac person sleeping on this lot. Thank you for hanging out with me, take care and be nice and kind to each other. Bye!